Leo Hoffman, Scarsdale, New York, and I'm committed to the University of Pennsylvania. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a two-way midi who, you know, can battle on both ends of the midfield line, specifically on offense. I pride myself with my first step, my explosiveness, and my willingness to get to the middle of the field, and then on the defensive end, bearing down on defense, playing team defense. Part of my game is a lot of transition. Playing two-way midi, it allows you to get to the middle of the field and transition and, and score some easy goals and help my teammates out. First, I'd have to say Sal Acasio. He's the best goalie of all time. Paul Rabel, his brand is super special. He's been playing for so long and he continues to, to be the best at his position since he was in high school and all the way until his pro days. I'd say Mark Mellon, his, his change of direction, his COD is, is something that is unstoppable and, and he's he was kind of the first one to create it and, and he's taken it and, and it's amazing in his game. And then I'd say Casey Powell, he's, he's a legend and he's one of the most unstoppable players in the game of lacrosse. I've been playing lacrosse since I was around six years old. My dad never played lacrosse, my mom never played lacrosse, none of my family members have ever played lacrosse, but my dad, you know, wanted to get me into sports at an early age and I picked up a lacrosse stick when I was six and, and never wanted to put it down. My siblings also play lacrosse. I have two younger sisters who love the game and hopefully you know, they can stick with it because it's truly so special and it, on and off the field you create relationships and, and it's not a sport for, for 20 years, it's a sport for a lifetime. I'm a 23 so I came last year um, playing attack and it was it was an awesome experience being able to play with with McCabe Millen who's in my grade and then being coached by Mark Millen and then learning from him was was a once-in-a-lifetime experience and I'm, I'm happy and blessed that that I can be in that position well I think Paul Rabel's talk that he does each year is, is something special every year it's different and I think you know Leadership and, and communication skills is super important, just like you said. I envision myself as a leader and I want to help my teammates out. And not only my teammates, but people around the world. So I think Project 9 is, is so individual and you focus on the nitty gritty things, but also you can incorporate some things that you learn at Project 9 for your entire life. You know, it was an incredible process. It was something that I've been looking forward to since, you know, I've been in the, in the lacrosse circuit. And something that was super important for me when I committed to Penn was the relationships on the field that the lacrosse players have, but also the relationships off the field that they have with, you know, students at the University of Pennsylvania and relationships with the alumni who have played uh, lacrosse at the University of Pennsylvania, but also you know, I've just, just loved the game of lacrosse and I've went to Penn. Uh, I think Coach Murphy uh, did an amazing amazing job. He's, you know, he's tough, he's gonna support you and, and he wants the best for, for all the lacrosse players.